What's going on YouTube? It's Tempest. Um, I am really excited. I can finally profile my favorite deck in the game for you guys. Um, it's my favorite deck for a lot of reasons. Um, it's uh, Let's see here. Um, it's got the, one of the best starters in the game. It's got one of the best grade threes in the game. It's got a really interesting play style. I really like it. Um, this build isn't exactly unique. It's pretty standard. But just me getting to profile out for you guys is just really exciting for me. So um, I'm going to get right to it. It's uh, Dimensional Robos. It's really good. Um, I think it's one of the better decks out there. Um, people will be like, oh, no, it's bad. You feel like how we started at minus just like three few. It's like, uh. But um, I like it a lot. It's really consistent. So Your starter is Dimensional Robo Goyusha. His skill, he's a 5k pioneer. And then what he does is um, you can take him and three other Dimensional Robo's rear guards or just four Dimensional Robo rear guards. And if you have a grade two or higher Dimensional Robo Vanguard, you can superior ride an under grade three uh, from the deck. So in this deck, this card can be used to let you hit grade three early if you have a grade two. And it can be also be used to uh, spear out the cross ride from the deck if you already have the grade 3 that you show in your Vanguard Circle. So he's very powerful. He's one of the best stars in the game, preventing you from misriding. Um, it is a pretty big neg on your part, but it's it, it's made up if you can ride a grade 3 before your opponent because then you can start to drive him early. So yeah, I really like what you show. For triggers, we're playing two Cobalts, four Die Battles. Uh, he's another dimensional robo. Um, his skill is when he's in the soul. Uh, you can drop him to give 3k to a vanguard. And we got two army penguin and then four dual main. And then four justice rose. So I'm playing six crit, six draw on this build. Um, I was playing eight crit four when I started to make this deck a while ago when it was first announced. Um, and uh, I liked it, but um, the neg at the beginning was really hurting me, so I started to. Uh, Cut back to six and six, and then I'll probably adjust the trigger ratio from there as I start playing this deck IRL. All right, for grade ones, we got four dimensional robo Dylander. Um, his skill is counterblast one, and then when he's placed in regard circle, you can give four K to one of your dimensional robos with that. So, um, not used very often for his skill, but he does help you set up your column better, and he can get good Dayusha's skill to go up to give him the extra crit. Uh, we got four Dimariner. Use your ideal turn one ride. Um, when he's in the soul, you can drop him to get a 3k to your vanguard. Um, he's also 7k booster, which is always helpful. Uh, we got two glory maker. If you have four more damage when it boosts the vanguard, the vanguard gains 10, uh, 4k extra power. So it's a 10k vanguard booster. It's really easy to get off it. If you boost your uh, limit breaker with this, it uh, gains. It can go up to 25k power, which is pretty good. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just decided to put it in. It's, it's not a bad card at all. Then we got four perfect guards. I'm still missing the one diamond ace. Um, if I don't end up getting a fourth one, I'll probably tech in one Karen Royd or even a third Glory Maker. Um, because this deck can be wrong with one of these perfect guards. It's the Vanguard is has enough defense that um you don't need the four perfect guards in the deck. Alright, grade twos. We got four die dragon. His skill is when he attacks. Um, if you have a Dimensional Robo's Vanguard, he gains 3k, which is a 12k attacker. Pretty nice. Um, easily the best grade 2 in this deck right now. Next we have 4 Die Lady. Uh, she is only in here to be a name. I don't really like her that much. Her skill is when her attack hits, um, you can choose one of your other Dimension Police and it gains 3k. Um, so it's kind of useful, puts a little bit of pressure on with the attack power. Um, but it, again, is only in here to be a name. It's not really meant to be anything more than that. Um, I'd rather play Twin Order or uh, Cosmo Beak, but they're not Dimension Robos, so that lady. And then last we have 3 Mika. She's just better. Um, I really want to get the Goyusha starter to go off, uh, starter effect to go off, so I'm playing more Dimensional Robos. I'm maxing everything in Dimensional Robos if I can. Um, but the Mika is very important. Also, um, if you get the Hapless Fury Ride and take the uh, Mimus at the beginning, she can help you. Um, get your stuff back because when her attack hits, you can counter blast to and draw a card. And there's only one of the cards that counter blasts in that deck, and it's Goy, uh, not Goy, it's Dylander. And um, it's only counter blast one, so you can really make use of her skill in this deck. Alright, last we've got the grade threes. Grade threes are pretty standard. Four Dimensional Robo Dayusha. This one's SP. Pretty nice. Um, 
what he does is when he's 4k or higher, or 14k or higher, when he attacks, he gains an extra crit. Um, so I'm making use of that Dylander skill again. Um, and then I got two Great Dayusha and two Lady Justice right now. I'm getting two more of these in the mail. Right now I'm just playing two of this because it's a generic 12k attacker. Um, I don't know what to say. This is just the basic lineup. Four of them in the base and four of the cross ride. And with this deck, because you have four users, three ride everything, you're just not really, there's no way you're not going to get the cross ride off, you know. So, unless for some reason you don't draw grades here, but there's eight of them in this deck. So, so that's my Daegusha deck. Um, it's my, it is my favorite deck. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video. If you liked it, comment, subscribe, and um, uh, I might be posting some more decks next week that may or may not be for sale. Um, I'm just not trying to get out of the game, but I am trying to lower my deck pool because I have like 10 or 11 different decks now. And um, yeah, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed it.